Alrighty, what's up everybody? My peeps, how's it going my peeps? Peter Joseph here for another video, right here, on the Peter fucking Joseph YouTube wrestling channel, youtube.com slash Peter Joseph, thank you for watching the video, make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down there in the basement, otherwise known as the description box below on this channel and my other channels down there and don't forget to follow me on social media facebook twitter and instagram if you're real if you're not go smoke a bone go fuck yourself or just go fuck yourself but anyway i share the video all over the internet don't forget to tap that bell and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn video and if you do well fuck you man you're shit out of luck. And you know what that means. Heh. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you wish. Hit that bell to get more. And if it's your first time watching, well, welcome to the goddamn party, pal. We hope you enjoy the ride. And if not, hop off. And, uh... That's it. Hop off and jump on... You know, go on somebody else's, else's channel. That's... That's, uh, garbage. Those lame-as-fuck videos that nobody gives two shits about. Thinks he's the hottest thing, he's the greatest thing since sliced bread when he's, they're not. When they're doing their lame, lame garbage videos. What's that lame? All the videos are lame. You know, so you want to go on, you know, somebody else's channel, then go, then go do that. Go have fun. But, you want to stay here? Then hit that bell. And turn on all notifications. You don't miss a goddamn thing. Leave a comment if you wish. If not, you're going to get blocked. And if you don't, you can't handle that, too fucking bad. Go cry me a fucking river. Go cry me a river. Go make 6,000 more accounts. I'll block them all. I'll block them all. I don't give a shit. How many freaking throwaway channels you have in the, in the, you know, throwaway emails you have because you have no fucking life. That's all you do is make fake emails and fake channels. Because you have no fucking life off YouTube. So go ahead. Go make, go make 6,000 more. Eventually, you know, Google is going to have, uh, going to put a cap on that. And YouTube. All the fake accounts is going to finally get rid of all of them. Eventually, if Neil will get his head out of his ass and do something for the content creators, you know, sometimes he do, they, you know, sometimes Neil and YouTube do, and sometimes they don't. That's why this this website is, you know, still a, a freaking wasteland. It's garbage. And anywhere else you go, it's gonna be the same fucking shit. But I digress. And yeah, pretty much I digress. I got nothing else to say about that. All right, let me move on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday evening, getting close to Saturday night here in the Northeast, or well, pretty much the Northeast, or if you're in the West Coast, happy uh, Saturday afternoon to you, and um, hope you had a great day, and if not, well, too fucking bad for you. All right, we got Collision coming on in about an hour and a half, three hours. Hours of AEW television tonight. Two hours of Collision live from 8 to 10 on that great station of TNT. And after that, at 10, 10 p.m., we got a live edition of Battle of the Belts 8. We got some good matches on, on both those shows. A dream match on Andrade taking on Brian Danielson. Yes! So, we'll see with that. That's going to be a great match. And we'll see uh, what happen, What else happens tonight on AEW TV. There is a rumor going around that Sammy Callahan, remember him? You know, you all know who Sammy Callahan is. Former Impact World Champion. Leader of OV, uh, OVH, I think it was, whatever, you know. Leader of that group with the Chris brothers, you know, Dave Chris and 
the other Chris brother, you know, blah, 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 blah. But Sammy Callahan is rumored, now he's, he's a free agent, he is uh, impact contract expired, and he's not resigning, so possibly he might be on tonight's episode just to make his grand debut, and uh, you do know who he's friends with, right? Mr. Moxley? So, he might be the next member of the BCC, or just is going to be there. Just to wreak havoc in in uh, on Collision or on, in AEW, maybe maybe he joins Ring of Honor. I like to have him in the Righteous. I mean, because he's you know nuts like like Moxley is. But Magic Sammy Callahan in the Righteous with uh, you know sick fucks like Dutch and and uh, Vincent. That'll be an epic freaking trios team. Possible six-man tag team champions. But we'll see. We'll see. But it's a rumor that Sammy Callahan will be appearing on Collision tonight. They, they did say a major free agent. Sammy's not a major free agent per se, but, you know, I think he will fit well in, in um, AEW or Ring of Honor. You know how bad freaking WWE fucked him over, Solomon Crow. That gimmick was, it was a good gimmick, but the way they portrayed him, it was pure shit. He felt, it was, it was like, it was like what Mustafa Ali's gimmick was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like a hacker gimmick in NXT. And then they just say, oh, we're going to do that again, but this time with Mustafa Ali. What, how did that go? Not only did Sammy get released, Mustafa Ali's gone Possibly going to AEW along with Dolph Ziggler. God forbid, you know, Tony Khan gives him that gimmick. I hope not. I'd just rather have Dolph and, um, well, not going to be Dolph anymore. It's going to be Nick Nemeth. And then Mustafa Ali. I don't know if they're going to call him Mustafa Ali or by his real name. But they're probably coming to AEW pretty damn soon. When their 90 day, 90 day compete clause ends, which will probably be. Uh, probably by January, or maybe February. Maybe we'll see him at Revolution, but we'll see what happens with all that. But, in any case, yeah, we might see that madman Sammy Callahan. I did meet him, by the way, too. Um, I have one of his shirts. Have you seen me wear, wear the Callahan Death Machine shirt? I don't have it with me. It's in my drawer, but... In any case, you know, Sammy Callahan coming to AEW. I think that's going to be a good pickup, you know, for Tony Khan and company. And we'll see how they're going to portray him and what his gimmick will be. If it's going to be Sammy Callahan, it's going to be Sammy Callahan. But he's a man-man. So we'll see what happens with that. And much more tonight on Collision and Battle of the Belts. And as always, I will be live tweeting starting at 8 o'clock with Collision and then going into Battle of the Belts, and I will do, be doing my Collision review later tonight over on my Killer of Demons channel. And that's, that's, that's uh, pretty much it. Got a few videos coming your way in the next few hours. I gotta do Ring of Honor, I gotta do Rampage. We're gonna do Rampage first, so I can get, it'll coincide with what's going on with Collision tonight and Battle of the Belts. And then I'll see if I can do Ring of Honor before... Before uh, Collision goes on the air. And then later tonight. Uh, after Battle of the Belts goes off the air. Probably about 11.30. Maybe 12, 12.30 or so. You know, late night once again. Uh, I'll do Collision. And then Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Tomorrow I will be doing Battle of the Belts. So get, you're not going to get it full. You're going to get separate videos. But. It is what it is. I might do a full video for Collision and Battle of the Belts. We'll see how it goes, but that's that. And we move on. All right, really quick, I want to get this video video up. Um, we got Bound for Glory coming up uh, pretty soon. It's supposed to be starting uh, with the pre-show, I think at 7 or 7.30, and then the main show at 8, of course, going head-to-head -head with freaking, freaking uh, Collision. 
Not that anybody's going to probably watch be watching Bowser Glory tonight, but it's the, it's on tonight. One of the one of the big the biggest pay per view of the year, really, in TNA history. We got that, but really want to talk about some of the rumors that are coming out of that, and a certain guy named Phil. We all know who Phil is, not Uncle Phil, but Phil, Mister Phil Brooks, possibly maybe debuting at Bound for Glory tonight. Possibly. Possibly. It's a rumor. Don't take it with a grain of salt. But we got that because it's in Chicago at Cicero Stadium. I have no idea what the fuck that is. I don't even care. Uh, but uh, reports are going around since very yesterday that Punk may be joining with with Impact Wrestling, because uh, they re they uh, hired Ace Steel, you know, Punk's best friend, as a producer. They tried to hire him before, and he didn't take it. Then they're, hi they're hiring for basically the same job. So, Ace Steel will be uh, in, imp in the Impact Zone. Not the Impact Zone, Will. He'll be at Bound for Glory. And since, you know, all the rumors, every time the WWE or AEW, or even Impact Wrestling, or even Ring of Honor... Any of the big major promotions go to Chicago. All the rumors come out. All the marks like, oh, it's in Chicago. Sam Punk. Sam Punk. Sam Punk. Sam Punk. Sam Punk. Subscribe to my channel. You know, not making fun of that guy, but you know, uh, you know, he, you, we all know how he does that. But anyway, big ups to showing free entertainment. But in any in any case, uh. You know, all the marks coming out saying CM Punk's going to show up at, at Bound for Glory tonight because it's in Chicago. This, you know, people are saying that he's going to appear at the Survivor Series. I doubt that. But maybe tonight is the night, you know, Phil's there. Maybe he's, maybe he's there and he's just going to be backstage where he'll, you know, we boys like, oh, CM Punk's backstage. Is he going to appear on screen? Probably, probably not. Or maybe he's just there to be with his good buddy, Ace Steel. Maybe work something out with, with uh, Scott Demore and Anthem Sports that he can make his debut with Impact Wrestling. He has been, you know, he has affiliations with TNA, which is basically the same thing as Impact anyway. So, he'll be coming back to TNA where he had uh, some pretty decent years in the early days of TNA. We had a group. We had a little, little, um, little, some good feuds there in the early days. Uh, he had Alexis Larie, we well know as Mickey James, in his little group. But, but we got that. Probably fireworks going off again. Everything's everything just weird. Weird noises. Weird noises. Outside, but in any case, yeah. In any case, uh, yeah. It's just fireworks going out. It's freaking eight April, August twenty first, and fireworks are going off, or some weird crap happens. But but we move on anyway. So. Like I said, CM Punk might come, might show up tonight at at a uh, Bound for Glory, but as far as WWE goes, pretty much not happening. And I'm gonna read a story from RingsideNews.com, and I'll put the link down below in the comments section. Uh, basically, uh, you know, we had Fastlane a couple weeks ago. And we had the we had the media scrum afterwards, and you know Hunter, Paul Paul Devec, you know we're thinking that he, that people are gonna ask him about CM Punk, you know, since Survivor Series is in Chicago, but really, you know, if the question was posed to to, to Hunter, that he would have uh, addressed it really quickly, but anyway, Ringside News is. Exclusively reported that WWE has dismissed any claims of CM Punk signing with the company 
uh, as false. So they're like saying, we don't want nothing to do with him, even though you know, the USA Network is heavily referencing CM Punk. We see it on, on WWE programming here and there with uh, you know, Wade Barrett, Corey Graves, Seth Rollins, and even Shinsuke Nakamura did the GTS. They're making best in the world, best in the world, this and that. So everybody's like, oh, Punk's coming back, right? Wrong. Wrong. As of October the 16th, five days ago, the in the internal consensus is that there have been no discussions or negotiations between WWE and CM Punk regarding a potential comeback. This clarification comes as a response to fan expectations of Punk's appearance at the Survivor Series this year. Uh, sources are adamant that at this moment there are no talks on the way with Punk. And another report came out that Punk had been, had been in touch with individuals within WWE. Meaning, I don't know, maybe Nick Khan. Maybe Hunter. Maybe some other higher ups, I don't know. Uh, to gauge how such a return might be approached. So it's close to Punk reportedly affirmed the accuracy of this claim, suggesting that Punk was waiting to see if WWE would make a move, but how and however recent attempts to reach out to Punk have gone unanswered. So it's like, you know, a chess uh, you know, a chess match. Who's gonna who's gonna move that pawn or move the king, you know? What where's what's what's gonna happen? What's gonna be checkmate? You know, is Punk gonna be at Brown with Glory tonight? Is he gonna be at the Survivor Series? Is he not coming back at all? And me personally, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Punk has burned so many bridges in the wrestling industry that if he goes to Impact, great for him. Great for Impact. Maybe we'll get more ratings than 97, not even 97, 77,000 views. Thursday Night Impact, which was the go-home show before freaking, freaking Bound for Glory. 77,000 views. That is sad. I know they don't, they're not on the greatest network in the world, which is Access TV, which not a lot of people get, unless you have Dish, or you watch it on ImpactWrestling.com, or whatever streaming site you watch it on. But damn, that's sad. 77,000 views. So like Impact is basically the the third company next to, you know, Ring of Honor doesn't, give, doesn't get that many views either because they're on, you know, they're on Ring of Honor uh, Wrestling.com. And when they're on YouTube for the uh, the pre-show, they get a paltry, like, a little over 100,000 views on YouTube. But what are you going to do? But, that's pretty pretty much it. Uh, like I mentioned before, the numerous teases and hints related to Punk, W higher-ups and top talent suggested that many of them are not cleared in advance. Some may even be initiated by wrestlers themselves with the intent of getting under CM Punk's skin. I guess with Seth Rollins mentioning C uh, Best in the World, you know, the references, and maybe Shinsuke got under Punk's skin using the GTS, even though it's not really his move, it's Kenta's move. And... Where's Ken, where is Kenta from? Japan, number one. Where's Shinsuke from? Japan. But anyway, the claims are made within WWE. They reflect the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the wrestling world, where plans and negotiations can shift at any moment. Uh, that uh, Worth noting that WWE seems to believe that if they want Punk... They have the means to bring him in. However, the company's official stance as communicated by higher-ups is that they are not currently in talks with Punk and Punk wants to create narrative that the company wants him back. So he can, you know, Punk can go on his Twitter machine or even on, on Instagram, you know, type up a whole bunch of freaking uh, tweet or an Instagram story or whatever. It's like, hey, I'm coming back to WWE. And WWE's like, uh, no, you're not. We don't want you. You burn too many bridges with a lot of the talent. Especially Hunter and Roman. Like, anybody wants you? No. Don't really want him. Unless he, like, makes a humongous apology, but... 
Everybody's like, oh, Punk's going to come back. He's going to face Roman at Mania. No. And if he does, Roman's going to smash him. Take that fake AEW world title that he has. Just put it in his collection. I mean, it is what it is, and that's pretty much it. So that's really my stance on on CM Punk. I um, mean, I know he was he was spotted in Orlando at Universal Studios, but not really seen at the Performance Center, uh, which was confirmed that he was never there. Uh, he had a Cage Fury Fighting Championship show. He was scheduled to provide commentary on um, Friday the Thirteenth in Tampa, and like I said before, a Steel, uh, who's Pretty much associated with Punk. Was also seen with him. He resides in Florida. And was previously in talks with AEW. About opening a training facility. In the, in the state. Before his departure. But now. He's in. He's possibly backstage. At Bound for Glory. As a producer. Punk. You know. Punk's good friends with him. Maybe he'll show up. I don't know. But. I mean. If we see Punk tonight. In Impact Wrestling. That pretty much. Shuts the door on WWE getting him, getting him back. But, I mean, we'll have to see what happens with, with that. And like I said, personally, do I want him back at WWE? No. Do I want him in Impact? Not really. Do I want him in Japan? No. He's just a freaking egomaniac. Burned his bridges in WWE. Went over to AEW. We all thought it was going to be great. Got some good ratings. In that one one year that he was there. But then you had the whole media scrum with the box and Kenny. And a whole bunch of other, other people got involved in it. Got suspended and all that shit. He got hurt with a, a rotator cuff injury. He comes back. Has his own show. Which basically was a revolving around him. Collision. Does pretty good ratings for the first show. And then pretty much after that. You know, we thought everything was going to be cool with Punk there. The ratings would go up on Collision and maybe on Dynamite. But then, all in, two comes. And he has a big fight with Miro. He has a bigger fight with freaking Tony Khan. And he gets a fight. Gets in a fight with Samoa Joe. Well, I mean, Samoa Joe had to break it up. Because Punk got all pissy pissy. And he got a fight in a fight with Jungle Boy. We, we haven't seen in... It, since in about two months, almost two months now, and they say maybe he might come back, that the suspension will be, you know, lifted and he'll come back and everything. But, you know, he had problems with Adam Page, he had problems with Jungle Boy or Jack Perry, he had a fight with Miro backstage, you know, he almost lunged, he lunged at Tony Khan, and then he's like, I don't want to work here no more, he's like, I'm out of here, good, get out of here, go fuck yourself. And Tony's like, I fear for my life. Blah, 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 blah. He got fired from AEW. Now, now the rumor mill has been going around. Like, Punk, you know, every time. Like, Punk's going to be at the Survivor Series because he's in Chicago. And now, A Steel is going to be producing in um for Impact Wrestling. And I can only mean that Punk might join up with Impact Wrestling. Yeah, that'd be great. Seventy-seven thousand view people to see Punk. I mean, that'll go up, obviously, but not by much. I mean, who's gonna watch? Who's gonna watch Access TV just for just to see CM Punk? Probably not a lot of people. So, and Punk wants to get back that spotlight. So, I mean, the only way you can go is AEW. You really can't go to Japan and we'll get the. I mean, if he goes to Japan, he'll get the Japanese exposure, but not nothing. TV wise, because you know, New Japan doesn't have a major TV deal. Besides, I mean, they're on Access TV too, but they show like old, uh, no, they don't show current. I mean, they do show current matches, but they kind of add an order here and there. But I digress on that. So, we'll have to see what happens with Punk, Punk tonight at Bound for Glory, and then if he's not there. You know, now we have to wait to see if he's going to be at the Survivor Series. You know the crowd is going to be chanting for him. So, I don't know how WWE will combat that. Maybe they'll drown out the, the punk chants. And if he's there, he's there. Big fucking whoop. Roman will whip his ass. Seth Rollins will kick his ass too. 
you know, Ponder will probably kiss his ass, or, you know, maybe not, I think, I think Phil Brooks will be kissing, uh, Hunter's ass, you know, they'll probably give him a big run, or maybe win the world title, but if he faces Roman, you know, I, I pray that, you know, Hunter's goes like, oh, you're back, you know, great, you know, and then, you know, who, who's controlling the storyline with, uh, you know, the bloodline storyline, oh, right, that's, uh, it was Vince, now it's Hunter, so, if Hunter w wants to be a real dick and not let things go with with Phil Brooks, CM Punk, I would have Roman squash him at WrestleMania in like three minutes. Did I say three minutes? Yeah, fuck him. Let him get beat down in Philly. Fuck him. But I have 100% faith that CM Punk is not coming to WWE and wherever he does go, whether it be Impact Wrestling or just doesn't come back to wrestling for another seven years, that would be great. I mean, we'll have to see what happens with that. So, anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about that down below. Uh, really quick, I want to get to a couple, uh, one more story that I want to talk about. That's Randy Orton, you know, the, the so-called master of the RKO, you know, even though he can't do it better than me. Because he can't do the Gilmore Kaza! Bang! But Randy Orton is uh, possibly uh, on his way back to WWE. And he will most likely uh, come back at the Survivor Series. And possibly can maybe do something. Maybe be involved in a War Games match. That is, uh, li is likely to happen between uh, Team Nick Aldis against Team... Nick, uh, Team Adam Pearce, so they will be doing a SmackDown vs. Raw, uh, Survivor Series this year, which is great, but I don't know who the captains will be for the War Games team, maybe it'll be Jay versus Jimmy, Jay's team versus Jimmy's team, or most, more likely it'll be Adam Pearce's team on Raw versus Nick Aldis' team on SmackDown, now does Nick Aldis put Roman in that match? We'll see. Maybe be Roman, Solo, and Jimmy, and two other people against, you know, Cody, Jey Uso, maybe Seth Rollins. You know, gotta have the baby faces on that team. But then again, you know, you can add a couple of villains in there or on either side, or faces on the other side. Like maybe like Eli Drake and freaking uh, John Cena in War Games. You know, on Roman's team, you know, Roman don't really would care for that. Roman would just sit sit in the cage and say, You're next, Cena. Get out there and get your ass kicked. Go ahead, Eli. And then when the third people come in, maybe Jimmy goes in, or maybe Solo goes in third or, or fourth. And then Roman will just come out fresh, number five. And then I would think Cody will come out at number five to put... Join the cage match, and I think Roman's team will smash, smash, uh, whatever Raw has in War Games. I mean, not gonna hurt Roman's Roman's uh, world title reign. That's gonna go. It's gonna be over twelve hundred days by December. So that too, um, and we'll see what happens with all that. But Randy Orton's coming back. You know, could be a, a new challenger for Roman. Be another, you know, another name to smash, but we shall see what happens with that and move on. All right, that's really all I got to say about that. Uh, SmackDown did 2.156 in the ratings. Not bad. Uh, Rampage went down over 320,000 views last night. It's not good, Al, but... See what happens with that. But we got Collision tonight and Battle of the Belts. Uh, we'll see the overall numbers probably tomorrow by Monday with that. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm going to uh, get, I'm going to edit, uh, put this up and um, edit it. And then I'm going to uh, see what happens with that. So I'm going to stop this video now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to do my Rampage review in just a little bit. Get you ready for... Three hours of AEW television tonight. Should be pretty damn good. And like I said, uh, later tonight, over on the Kill Demons channel, 
I will be doing my live, or not live, um, I will be doing my collision review, and that's pretty much it for that. And we move on from there. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peter Joseph signing off. Peace out. Rock on and rock hard with your fucking cookout. And if you're not down with that, or you're a fuckboy, and you need a slap in the face, among other things, because if you're not down with that, then really, that's just too fucking bad. Because me and a whole ton of other people that are better than you, and you know it, we all got three of the greatest words in the history of the sport, and on YouTube, and in life itself. You know what those three words are? You want to know? Fuck you, man. That's it. Go fuck yourselves, you stupid, ugly, disgusting, no-brain, weed-smoking bitches. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out. Peace!